Welcome, I've done a number of videos on testing network speeds and I'll put a link in the description of my playlist on that and you can find my other videos there. So I have videos on testing speeds from say your mobile device to a network attached storage or a desktop computer. In this video I'm going to be testing the internet speed on a Raspberry Pi computer and specifically I'll be using Raspberry Pi OS Lite which has a command line interface. So I booted up my Raspberry Pi computer with Raspberry Pi OS Lite and the first thing I'll do is I'll log in. I'll clear my screen here, and I want to update the package list first, so I'll type sudo space app space update, and I'll run that. Okay, that has completed, so I'll clear my screen here. Next, I want to install the speed test package, so I'll type sudo space app space install space speed test dash cli. I'll hit enter. I'll hit yes here, and this will start the install. Okay, I'll clear my screen. Now I can run the speed test. So if I type speed and hit tab, you see we have tab completion here. There are two versions of this, speed test and speed test CLI. And those do the exact same thing, so it doesn't really matter which one you run. So in order to run the speed test, I'll just type speed test. I'll hit enter, and it will run the speed test. Okay, there we go. So it looks like I'm getting 45 megabits per second download and 18 megabits per second upload. And that coincides with what I pay for. I pay for 40 down, 20 up. So that's very similar. So this can be very useful for testing your network speed if you're running a Raspberry Pi headless or if you don't have a graphical interface installed in your Raspberry Pi. You can get similar functionality to running the web-based speedtest.net. So I'll clear my screen here, press the up arrow to go back to the speed test command. I'll type space and then dash help. I'll hit enter, and here we have the short help. We have different options here. I'll press the up arrow again. I'll do dash dash help, and we have the long help. Now if you want to read through this more easily, I'll press up arrow, then I'll type pipe, and then less. I'll hit enter, and now we can page through it. So I can use my arrow keys to read through this, and I can hit Q to exit out of here. So you can see the different options here. We can say no download, no upload, so you can tell it what kind of test to perform. You can display the results in bytes. Looks like you can share the results on speedtest.net. There's a simple output, has a CSV output. So I'm guessing in CSV output, you could log that. If you wanted to run this, say, every hour, you could log it. You can output in JSON, so you could read that by some other program. You can list out the servers. So there are a lot of different options here that you can play around with. So I think that's a pretty handy utility to add to your arsenal of network tools. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.